And that, that one of the ironies is, you know, <laughs> that wrestling is one of the things that people thought of as fake. There's a there's a script that they're that they a scenario and a characters that they've worked out. But you know, you don't pick up a 420 pound guy and throw him out of a ring and have him land on a table with the computer on it and uh, live, you know, and, and not have someone get hurt. You know, I mean, that is there's a level of acting there, and then there's a level of hardcore reality. Respect is very important. You know, respect because you get hurt. You get hurt all the time, and when you get hurt, you don't work, and and and. It's a big problem with your life when you get whole, older, you know, because you have pain all the time. So uh, uh, now I think it's, um, and for you guys, you're going to make movies now. We're getting older. It's your turn. And uh, uh, you have to be real. I think people are more sophisticated. Uh, remember before when you get a punch and you hear, blah, blah, when you make a punch, doesn't sound like anything, okay? It really does. So the thing is, is to get real. Don't make things fake. Even We know it's a movie. It's choreographed. But make it as real as possible, as feasible as it is. You know, to kill a guy takes one second, so make it 10 seconds. You know, but don't make, don't make it a half an hour, you know? And, and imagine, you see, you see five, and I'm gonna kill you five times in the face, three times in the knee, bam, and everything. And he has no other piece of drop of blood. He has nothing. <laughs> I'm perfect, he's perfect, and you're coming back, you know that. No, one punch, I kill you. That's one, it. One point on that. You know, even going back to uh, Star Wars, for example, you know, um, Lucas uh, really, you know, was one of the very first filmmakers that took the genre seriously enough where, and, and most of what he did, he did out of, he, he needed it himself. He was like, okay, we have spaceships and they have lasers, but, and he looked at the sounds available to him and he said, well, in the real, I won't say world, in the real universe, um, all lasers do not sound the same. And if they're in the atmosphere, if they're outside the atmosphere, if they're an enemy ship, they can't all be the same laser sound. They all have, and if they're hitting something different, the target would have a different sound, everything, so this, you know, all, and then he'd go through the trouble to create all of this, then go listen to a, see a test screening at a movie theater, and all of that hard work went down the drain uh, because it sound, the sound sounded like it was coming out of a tin can. That's what every movie theater sounded like. So he had to create THX sound. So all of his stuff it, and came out of his frustration of not being able to either hear or see what he thought that film and the subsequent ones should be. A, a small, small example, even without laser, the Gangs of New York. The guy did the choreography of Gangs of New York is one of my assistants, Dominic Vanderberg. And uh, we had Leonardo DiCaprio wanted to have the fights with the knives. You know, it's one of the most famous uh, uh, movie for fights with knives because that was the Gangs of New York. So I was teaching knife fighting, a certain form of a knife fighting to my assistant, and he's, he's really good at it. And uh, so Leonardo came to the class and I said, okay, you know, may I hire Dominic for doing the choreography of the, of the Gangs of New York? So we had a meeting with Scorsese and um, the first question of um, uh, um, Scorsese was about the sound. What sound does a knife make when it cuts? Or when it plunges? Or when you stab someone? What's the difference in the sound between each of those things? Because this is because a now if I, if I take a knife with a, like a dagger and I, I go through the leather or something, it makes a sucking sound. If I, if I take a knife from the back and I cut like this, it makes a swish sound. Well, this guy, Scorsese, is not a fighter, you know, but he knew already. That makes the real thing. That's not fake anymore. And Dominic, who is an ex uh, French foreign legend, has told him, you know, this sound it makes when you kill people because he killed people in war. He knew that what it was. He said, it's not a Hollywood show. It doesn't make this sound. They work for two weeks just to find the right sound on pigs, you know, on flesh of cows and everything to register what sound it was making. When you make your movie, make it as real as it is. It's not a cartoon. Okay, it's not a cartoon. 
be respectful of life. And you have like, for example, the last week of Mark Wahlberg, you know, the um, Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor. They make so much study about these things. Still, it's very Hollywood for me, you know. I was in war, unfortunately, and it doesn't happen this way. But, but still, it's, it's phenomenal. Hollywood, it's, yeah, it's as close as Hollywood goes. Yeah. Hollywood, not European or Japanese or Chinese <coughs> you know, or Korean. You know. But um, uh, uh, make it real. Make it. The sophistication is as good as the reality is. Don't pretend making something out of nothing. It's be real, then you have the impact that 99% are clueless about. That's the impact of reality.